song, no matter what I'm doing. <laughs> yes, that's why I said everybody get in the middle of the chat room and start dancing. But everybody, of course, piled in the middle of the room. I know, right? One, one big clatter of noise. Have oh, look at this. Hell, look who's <laughs> Did you hear my squeaky room. knob? Your squeaky. Oh, my goodness gracious me. Randy's that old now. Listen. So every time his knob moves. <laughs> War. Arr, welcome aboard, oh ladies. <laughs> it is. It's a good tune, man. All the ones you sent over are cool. I like them. Carol. I think you need to Macy, oil. Macy, what's you need going to on over here knob. then? Is that it? <laughs> Look who's there. Al's Carol, favorite gal. Cal Doran. There's her new name. What? Al's, Al's gal. Al's gal. There we go. <laughs> you got a name now, Carol. And Macy, how you are a regular Macy radio Hill. rascal. Yes, she is. Hi, Nisi. Haven't come up with a name for her yet. Well, I will have to work on that. Nisi uh, has requested, of course. She's and I see that. Love Shack. She's we will play your Love Shack for you. Fashion. Don't panic. But I got a couple tunes ahead of that, so just please stand by. In the meantime, you hear some of these uh, jingles that I play from other radio stations, CKLW. I got a couple from England, from uh, where Don is from. Um, some that I Radio like, one Dog. from where I grew up. If you have a jingle that you used to, that you remember from when you were a kid or something that you really liked, let me know. I'll go look it up for some of the radio stations from whenever. You know, like I played CKW on uh, Roadrunner. Michael had, uh, he knew what it was when he heard it. Diane Conley uh, is a big fan of CKLW from way back in the day. So if you got something, let me know. You know, there was uh, all kinds of great stations. Around, Munchkin, Nisi said, is her nickname. Munchkin? Oh my gosh, no, I, that's not. We I have to give of, you the nickname. Yeah, I can think of worse things to call <clears> you than that. We have to give you the nickname in order for you to be an official radio rascal. Yes. So um, Carol just got hers. That's Al's gal. So. <laughs> <laughs> she is there you go. See, Alfred they just have the to kind of happen. That's Alfred all. loves her to bits. <coughs> <coughs> he does, and he'd probably be saying hello to you, but I just walked through the other room, and he was out like a friggin' light in there. I mean, he'd melted into the into his couch in there, so... Yeah, if you've and he's ever, big enough, he gets a couch, you know, he gets his own settee. He doesn't if get you've ever a, seen a Great Dane on a, in a great big <laughs> pile on the sofa, you will know exactly what we mean. <laughs> She's like, that's right, I'm Al's gal, don't be <laughs> messing with me. So, Isn't that a 50 song? Well... I want to be Al's gal. I want to be Al's gal. Something like that. I, I thought you were, you were singing Bobby's girl. I want to be Bobby's girl. Good night, Mr. Elliot, sir. Bobby's Pleasure girl. having you stop by then. Has he gone, has he? He's saying night, y'all. That boy has got said, no stamina. <laughs> Do you hear what I just did? What? He's saying night, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Can the British say that even? <laughs> night, y'all. Yeah, Paul says, night, you all. I will try and pop in tomorrow. Yeah, that boy has got no stamina. No stamina whatsoever. No, only the fact that it's like, uh, what, uh, two o'clock in the morning over there. I wouldn't have any stamina no, no, either. No, 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 uh, Paul Lawrence Elliott is in Canada. He's a Brit, but he's in Canada. Oh, bloody he's a, hell. He's a Coventry boy, but he's in can Canada. Oh, so well, he's close. He has no reason to not have the stamina to stay. We're only about uh, <laughs> 2,500, 3,000 miles away from him. Only. I don't know what part of Canada, but cool. Nisi wants to know... If Rick has any pie, I think we need to know about this pie. What's in this pie? How can you have any pie if you don't have any pudding? <laughs> oh, wait a minute. That's the wrong song, isn't is it? This, is this a, uh, is this a, uh, oh, let me think. What kind of pie would this be? Seeing as this is radio and... Um, hairy pie? <laughs> not a hairy pie. Spam! Spam and pie! I think it should be a nice cherry pie, but not with that gloopy filling that you guys put on it. Oh, everything. God, yeah. What's the matter with you? With a some cherry, friggin' cherry ice cream pie on it. With some, ice some vanilla cream. ice cream or lots of, yes. lots of uh, uh, whipped cream. Oh, my God. Now I'm friggin' hungry. And I got coffee and no goodies. I'm going to go in and make those corn muffins. Cause oh, God, they I need something to munch on. What song do you want to hear? She wants to hear the song I want to be Bobby's girl. I want to be Bobby's girl. That's not the song I was singing. I was singing, I'm Al's girl. I'm Al's girl. Rick says coconut cream is... Oh, my shit. God. Rick, you're a friggin', you're a god, dude. I bow down to thee. When I was trucking, man, there was a place over in Pennsylvania up on Snowshoe. <gasps> That's the only place I would stop, and I'd have coffee 
and coconut cream pie or banana cream. Either one was awesome in that place. They were homemade right there. I think oh. they went to Africa or, or <laughs> not Africa. Wherever bananas are grown. I think they went and picked them fresh. That was the best friggin' pie in the world. I mean, like God had to have stood there and watched them make it or something. You should have a British pie, because they are much better than American Oh, pies. she wants to hear Pink Floyd. Oh. What was I doing Pink Floyd? I forgot what song it was already. Maybe you said, look, Mommy, there's an airplane. No, that's, my, that's one of the cool... I just like that because that's a cool line. Look, Mommy, there's an airplane up in the sky. That's very cool. Or pumpkin pie. You know, uh, Carol, that's what hillbillies do for Halloween, right? They pumpkin. Oh, <laughs> gosh. <laughs> More like <laughs> not even <laughs> bunny pants, you know? Chocolate meringue. Nah. It's good. Chocolate pie's okay. It's really good when it's cold out of the refrigerator. That's when it's I've good. I've never had chocolate pie. It's very good, actually. I like it. It's basically, I think in most cases, just chocolate pudding in a pie shell. Pudding in a pie. Who'd have thought? Welcome to America, Donna. That's right. <laughs> you know when I first... Pink Floyd never did a song called No Pie. Oh, there. How can you eat your pudding if you don't beat oh, your meat? How can you have any pudding if you don't beat your meat? Yeah, yeah that's right. that's what she was talking okay, about. Okay, we can do that just for angle. Let me go over there and find out while you keep talking. Let, let me tell you about when I first started talking to Randy years and years and years ago. Um, he Hard was to believe. Stop saying that. I know. Back in 2012, he was telling me about him eating some pudding. And I says, what kind of pudding? And he says, you know, pudding in the pot. And I says, but what kind of pudding is it? And he just, and he didn't understand my question. Because back in the UK, you know, you have a pudding. That's your dessert. Um, you know, whether it's cake and custard or whether it's a, or whether it's um you know, a lemon meringue pie, or whether it's a gato, or whether it's, you know... Gato? It, gato? That's cat in Mexican. Gato. Whether whether it's, you know, your, your after... I want to your, eat some Your gato. dessert is called your pudding over there. You know, whatever you have for your dessert is pudding. So when Randy was... Uh, so when Randy says he was eating pudding, and I says, what kind of pudding are you having? And he just didn't understand the question. And I says, and I said... You know, are you having cake and custard? Are you having ice cream? Are you having um, a fruit salad? And he just, and he was like, no, just a pot of pudding. And I says, what is it? You know, and he says, well, uh, um, well, it's a little bit like, um, it's a little bit like cum in a pot. And I was like, cum in a pot? And you're eating it? You know, we really, really did hit a few language barriers that night. What I the bloody hell are you talking about? <laughs> I've never come in a pot. <laughs> Listen, can I have 10 seconds of your time? Only 10. If you don't eat your meat, you can't have any pudding. How can you have any pudding if you don't eat your meat? If you don't eat your meat. (laughs) (laughs) There, you had it. (laughs) So, Randy, for anybody that's listening from England, what is pudding? You're asking me what pudding yes, is? Yes, yes. Because even though I've how tried the hell do it, I, I don't describe really know what, what pudding is. is. I don't really know what it is. It's just, just stuff. stuff. How can I describe what pudding is? It's it you you mix <laughs> it up. It has milk in it and sugar and flavoring, and you put it in the refrigerator and it gels and it gets uh, thickish. I don't know how to describe pudding. I've never pudding? had to describe pudding before. How can you have any pudding if I can't describe my meat? <laughs> I have no idea how to tell you what it is. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Banana pudding, though, is very good. Oh, I haven't had any of that kind. I haven't had pudding in a long time. I haven't had any figgy pudding either. By Jove. Oh, dearie me. Start out like you can hold out. What the hell does that mean? Isn't that a song? Start out like you can hold out. Hang on to your... <laughs> What the hell is that? I have to find out what that means. Start out like you can hold out. Ray Waters, living the big, living the big, living the big something. Corbin in the Dell. Corbin in the Dell. Lie on there. Corbin in the. Caught, the, caught between the dog and the fire plug. <laughs> I don't know, Nisi. You lost me on that one there, Ducky. I know. She said it a couple of times. It's an old saying, she said. Okay. 
Oh, I tell you what as well about pie fillings over here. I had some, I had a waffle over here, a blueberry waffle. And you couldn't even see the blueberries in it because the pie filling stuff that they put on the plate, <laughs> you it had was a, that thick and You gloopy. had a blue waffle. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> oh, you gross little snack. Are you guys rag. in the chat room still hungry after that? <laughs> <laughs> she had a blue twat waffle. Oh. Betty says he likes jello Yorkshire pudding. Now that is kind of nice. Do you know, my granddad was a chef in the army years and years and years ago. And he, when he made a Sunday roast dinner, he would keep a couple of Yorkshire puddings back and he would let them go cold and he would put jam on them. And you guys call it jello. What, 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 what? For always knowing that we love jello pudding, here's the man. <laughs> And for always letting us lick the spoon after she mixes it, here's to mom! And for not getting mad at us because we wore dad's bowling shoes into the bathtub, here's to mom! Kids love Jell-O brand pudding. And since it's probably on your shelf, why not make some tonight? Here's to you, mom! <laughs> Nothing better than seeing Bill Cosby sit around a table full of little kids. <laughs> uh, just what I was thinking. <laughs> wah, I wasn't going to say wah, it, but wah. it's just exactly what I was thinking. How you been, my ex-Georgia girl? Oh, you're yes, talking to Carol. Carol. Here. And Alfred, you better watch it. That's Al's gal. Don't be fooling around her, Thomas. Yes, Alfred hasn't said hello to his favorite gal yet. Oh, here he is. Look, here he hey, is. Hey, everybody, what's going Alfred. on? Alfred. What's up there, buddy? What oh, brought you in here? You hear me talking about you? I heard my name. Yeah, Talking about you, your gal is here. Who? Carol? Yep. Yeah, Carol right here, look. is here in our chat. We room gave her a new it. name now. Is that okay? What would you call her? Uh, we call her Al's gal. Oh, right. Finally, I got a steady. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> Pretty you cool, got a huh? steady girlfriend. Now you got a real gal. You guys huh? are exclusive, as they call it. Oh, she's the greatest. She is. Oh, well, good. I'm glad you like something for a change. Are you hungry? Well, it's little. Do you need to go outside? Yeah. Okay. I just want to make sure I know what I'm doing when I get up out of my chair. You're rattling your chain. You're always rattling my chain. Are you all right otherwise? Yeah, I just wanted to say hi to Carol. Well, then say hi to Carol. Here, here's the microphone. Say hi to Carol. Hello, Carol. How are you? I said to okay. uh, Randy that Alfred, the radio dog, should sing a song and record it, you know, like a proper song that we can play each week just for him. What do you think? I got a song. What's you what's got a song? a song? What song Alfred's do you have? Alfred's got a song. Is this, for, is, <coughs> this, is this for your gal? Yeah. Okay. Okay. You want to do it then? Can I? Yeah, of course you can. Okay. Let me do it. Go on. We'll do it then. All right. Ready? Yeah. It's real. It's real. Real simple, right? This is nothing complicated. No, not at all. Okay. Go ahead and do it. I want to be Carol's girl. No, wait. You, you screwed girl? up, didn't you? You look like a girl, don't you? You messed up, didn't you? Well, let me try it again. I want to be Carol's dog. Okay, That's that sounds better. more like it. <laughs> uh, you had to think that through, huh? Yeah. Oh, you're too much. Carol says she loves you. I know, I can read. All right. I don't, I don't need to get all flippy floppy about it. For a four-legged furry thing, he can read pretty well. <laughs> what the hell was that? My face itches. I know, he keeps, he keeps rubbing his nose on my boob. <laughs> All right, let's get back to the music, shall we? Yeah, please. Bye, Carol. Are you crazy? Al's gal. How cool is that, huh? Well, I saw the thing coming out of the sky. Walker Desperados waiting for a train. Yankee to Brit Friday night. Hello, you guys are friggin' nuts. I don't envy you one bit living up there where it's that damn cold. I I'm officially not feeling guilty anymore that I moved away. <laughs> I can't believe it. Brenda said it's going to be like 34. Blah! We had that one night here where it frosted. It just touched 32, and that was it so far. And it's been nice in the 40s and 50s. And Okay, Angie. Angie. <laughs> Angie? Yeah, I was a cross between Danny and Angle and Angel, and I got them all mixed up. But yeah, some Josh Turner, that'll work. No problemo, senorita. Got lots of stuff lined up here, though. Um, and 
Don't forget requests, man. Don't be afraid to ask. That's what it's all about. Caramel corn. I used to be able to eat that. Now I can't eat it with my one tooth. So it's hard to chew on that stuff. Needs ore butter. What is ore butter? You mean more butter. Nothing better than popcorn with a butter on it so freaking thick and nasty that it gags you when you eat it. Mmm. Oh, and I can't even stand the smell of popcorn. Oh. <laughs> oh, you smelled it today and you were like, oh, popcorn. I did not. You said, in fact, you said I liked it. <laughs> yeah, that's what you said. You dangle. tried to put words in my mouth today, pants. That's uh, Benny beat up my dang me and angle. <laughs> dangle. <laughs> oh, hot popcorn. I can't eat it. You know, I can't eat it anymore either because I get the friggin' holes from the seed stuck in my throat all the time. I can't stand it. So I just don't eat it. It's ridiculous. It's all kinds of issues. I done made a lousy whore, man. I'm always getting stuff stuck in my throat. Oh, I know. And you expect women to, uh, you know, swallow take it, take it all down. Yeah. Swallow? Well, yeah. But I'm on the giving end. I'm not on the receiving end, so it doesn't matter to me. Now you know how us poor Damn ladies pervert. feel. Yeah, I know. I know how it feels. <laughs> mm. <laughs> like yummy popcorn with lots of butter. <laughs> He is so cruising for a bruising. Uh, you know that, don't you, people? He is cruising for a bruising tonight. Do you have I've Always Been Crazy by Waylon? No, well, but I have a have... bad itch right here. Well, you better scratch it then. <laughs> Would you scratch this? Yeah, we'll fix you right up there, Mr. Can Rick. Can you read that for me? I probably could. Micah. Yes, I wanted to know what it was. So, this I'm playing Wordscapes, by the way, while we're doing the show. And I wanted to know what the word meant. And there's lots of big words in it, so I thought Randy might be able to pronounce them. And there's lots of stupid words in this thing, well, too. Well, then, what does it say? Mica, noun, any of a group of hydrous alumosilicate minerals <laughs> characterized by highly perfect cleavage. What? That does not say that. It says it right there, cleavage. Oh, yes, it does. Characterized by cleavage. highly perfect cleavage so that they readily separate into very thin leaves, more or less elastic. Oh my gosh, I should have never... Is that what fake titties are made out of? Leaves? No, hydrosilic... I've got a highly perfect cleavage, I think. It's like a sand, though, I thought. Maybe that's what it means. I don't understand this meaning in particular. Benny says you're a pitcher, not a catcher. <laughs> you're really not funny, Benny. Yeah, well, don't forget two, three strikes and you're out. No matter which <laughs> exactly. team you're on. <laughs> Any of a group of hydrous <laughs> alumosilicate minerals characterized by highly perfect cleavage. I swear to God, that's a typo. What's that noise? It's the, uh, they're coming to get us. It's the army. They're coming, they're coming to take you away, haha. Hee hee, to the bunny barn. Wow. Listen. Very cool. What a hell of a microphone. Jeez. Yeah. Oh, Micah is flaky. <laughs> no, must be related to Micah Jackson, would be my guess. Oh, my God. Okay. I guess I should have never have gotten to read that one. <laughs> I just wanted those big words pronounced, you know? <laughs> those are the easy those part. a tough one. That's the easy part, those big words. It's what they mean, where the issue is. All right, anyways, request for musica. We shall play some right here. <clears throat> Yankee and the Brit by request from Mr. Rick Snyder, who does some pretty damn good music himself. Oh, yes, sir, he does. Wayne Jennings. Hey! He didn't play that uh, other song by... Uh... The old network. Friday night, baby. Um, I just had to tell you that I got the uh, corn muffins in the oven as we speak. wonder what that smell was. <sighs> I can hardly wait. <laughs> and next thing I'm going to make, probably day after tomorrow or so, is going to be cornbread. Mm. Cornbread and a glass of cold milk. Come on now. We're talking hillbilly over here. That's what I'm after. Good old grill. Yankee and the Brits, the place to be. Radio living is the life for me. Airwaves spreading out so far and wide Keep your FM, just give me that internet side Online is where I'd rather stay 
I've got a lot of music to play. I just adore a Yankee view. Darling, I love you, but give me a show to do. The Chap. The Brats. On air. That's fair. You are my wife. Goodbye, British life. The Yankee and the Brit on air.